It's been a long day without you, my Ghost Todd. If you can hear us, the game of baseball ain't the same without you. The game of football ain't the same without you. Sports ain't the same without you. You have impacted all of us, so many of us. You've helped us become the men we are today, and you helped us become great ball players for as long as we played. And I remember you buying us all tickets, all 10 kids or whatever it was to go watch the UH game, you know, take us to McDonald's afterwards. You know, <laughs> that was such great times. But thank you, Coach Todd. Thank you for everything that you've given us. Thank you, Auntie Dina, as well. Thank you for, for being, you know, many father figures to us. Um, thank you for being our coach, our mentor. Um, I am grateful. Prasad, if you can hear me, do me a favor. When the time comes, save me a seat at the uncle's table. Let's share a beer because we got a lot to catch up on. Love you, Uncle Todd. Now, Uncle Todd, uh, played such a pivotal role in, you know, the development of my childhood and in sports and as an athlete. A lot of what he taught me as a coach, you know, that no-nonsense type of hard work, coaching style, it worked, you know. It was, it was, it was so pivotal for the development of me and the boys we were around, and it's just, it was proven, man. And you know, I want to miss you, Uncle Todd, and you're forever with us. And TJ and George, I'm with you guys. I love you guys. So, Auntie Dino, I love you guys. Um, yeah. Hi, Coach Todd. First off. I want to say thank you for everything you have done for me. You watched me grow from a kid into a young man, all while getting to experience and celebrate multiple wins of championships, whether in baseball or football, which I think is really awesome. I can honestly say you helped shape the person I am today and the athlete I became while growing up. So for that, I am forever grateful. I hope you are up in heaven drinking a few beers, watching down on everyone whose lives you impacted, and may you rest in love, Uncle Todd. Love and miss you. Aloha. I was one of Coach Todd's players um, back when I was a, like seven years old. Um, uh, he was really good friends with uh, my dad, who was also a coach. My dad and Coach Todd always used to drink together and hang out. He's a very good coach. Uh, he's very knowledgeable in the game. Um, taught us to be very hardworking and disciplined. And just overall a great coach. Great person. And, um, I'd just like to say farewell. We're going to miss you, bro. Aloha, brother Todd. I only got a couple seasons uh, to coach and assist with Todd. Uh, and Zach is one year younger than my son, Ethan, so there will only be chances to play every other year. What I do remember the most about Todd is this guy knew his rules of baseball, especially for the leagues and tournaments his team was in. I kind of knew just from being around Todd as a parent and sometimes helping out with the score book, but being in the dugout I found out this guy knew his rules instantly and was always ready to challenge the umpires if he knew it would benefit his team. Honestly I was uh, surprised at first because you know uh, Todd he never did say too much unless he had to but if the opportunity was there to take advantage and help out his kids uh, he was never afraid to do what he had to do. I was always impressed with that. Hello everyone, this is Patrick. I used to play baseball for Coach Todd. Coach Todd was one of the most impactful person I ever met. 
In terms of his commitment to the team, he never gave up on us and was the biggest motivator in my life. Off the field, he was a man of humor and spirit. I remember after winning state in Maui, I came up to him during the celebration. He jokingly offered me a beer and said, you deserve it. <laughs> I was saddened to hear a co that coach, his friend, gone too soon. I will truly miss his spirit and all the memories I had with him until we meet again. To Coach Tala, the guy that taught me many life lessons throughout the game of baseball. Thank you for teaching me how to stay disciplined. Thank you for teaching me hard work. And thank you for teaching me how to love my failures and learn from them. And thank you for teaching me how to be a great leader. But most of all, thank you for teaching me how to love the game of baseball. Without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I'm just forever grateful. Me and my team is gonna miss you. We'll see you again one day. We love you, Coach Todd. Uh, my favorite memory or memories of Coach Todd were probably all the times after practices when we do bad. He'd always just make that eye joke and say, Sean, look at me when I'm yelling at you guys. And it would just light up the mood. Uh, it would make those bad practices feel a little better. Yeah. Love you, Coach Todd. Miss you. Best memory of Coach Todd. Um, when we was camping one year, Uncle told me, Oh, what? Where the fish did? I don't know, in the ocean, he said. Ah, they're not in the ocean, they're in the rubbish. <laughs> Love you, coach. Hi. I remember the first time I met you, I never like played with you. I always thought you was scared on hard ass. But then, as I made memories with you, you was a funny guy. Always someone to talk to, football, baseball. You'd always come over, drink, get drunk. Um, I remember or one of the best memories you was the Snickers joke at Corpse. I mean, Platinum and everybody was just cracking up. Even the umpire said it's probably the best memory he had in baseball, um, umping and stuff. And then I remember every time you'd get drunk and I'd rub your stomach and he was like, would call you the Buddha. And then I remember I'd flick your nipples and you'd say, you get horny. And then just miss miss all the time with you driving and hear your song Brick House and then just cry every time I think of you because that was your song you danced to when you drunk and we love you always coach and I just wanted to let you know that Green Bay always gonna be better than the Steelers because Steelers suck and then Crusaders always gonna be drunk they always gonna be rubber they only raid gay people over there yes sir uh, the best memory I had of you uh, was when I first joined your guys' team and I was fat and you teased me every time I ran because I was slow and because of you <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> uh, Love you and miss you coach What's up coach? I just want to talk about like one of the best memories that me and you had um, it was one of these games we was playing and I used to tie my hair up because I had long hair I used to tie my hair up in like little pigtails down my foxtail and I remember you seen it coming out of my hat and then you told me oh that looks stupid take it down I was like no coach I'm doing good but he made me take it down and when I took it down I did shady that game but that was pretty much it love you coach miss you what's up coach I would say the best memory I have with you is that when I was younger, I used to always beg and ask you and Auntie Dina to convince my parents to let me go out and have fun with the boys. And honestly, those were the funnest days of my life. So I just want to say I love you, Mr. Coach. Hey, Coach. So I want to thank you for bringing, you, bringing me on top of the team and connecting me with all the boys. And I love and miss you. What's up, coach? Uh, my favorite memory was honestly just playing under you. I had a lot of fun. You know, I met a lot of friends along the way, whom I still hang out with to this day. Um, you taught me a lot more than just baseball. A lot of life lessons along the way. I just want to say I love and miss you, coach. Have a good one. What's up, Tariwadi? Um, I hope you're drinking it up up there, having fun. But 
first off, I want to say I miss you each and every day. And um, well, my favorite memory about you in my life is having to go to practice and um, you would always, I'm known as the doodle boy in the whole team because every time I would have to go to take a shit um, right before we'd have to run and I would ask coach, coach, I gotta use the bathroom. He's like, again, you just went 30 minutes ago. And you know, that was just the funniest thing ever because everybody knows why I was going to the bathroom. But I really have to take a shit though, you know? But you know, I just wanted to say by far, you're the, you're the greatest coach I ever had in my life. And um, I just want to say I, I love and miss you, coach. We love and miss you, coach, until we meet again. We love and miss you, coach. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began